Sweet potatoes. Hey man, are you sure under all that exterior you're not one of us? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I eat Mexican food and I ain't Mexican. I eat Italian food and I ain't Italian. I eat Chinese food and I ain't Chinese. Well, what are you? Hungry. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. There's a whole lot of food here. Well, Mr. Sanford's gonna be with us tonight, do you know? No, he's not. He's taking to eat out to dinner tonight. <laughs> Well, don't you look pretty in a newborn heifer. <laughs> and don't you look like you're going to give birth to one. <laughs> hey, what's all this cooking? Why is all this food being cooked here? Hey, I thought you were going to be eat with us tonight. I know you're going to take that Eve lady out again. Hey, yeah, but you know, you've been rapping on her door for about three weeks now. Have you put anything up on the scoreboard? <laughs> My little, this is a love affair, not a hockey game. <laughs> a real man is tall and silent. Real man don't talk about sex. Because if anything happens, you can tell by the sparkle in his eyes. <laughs> I do see a flicker. Flicker? Flicker hell, this is Olympic torches. <laughs> Listen, when he gets here tonight, I'm gonna get my gold medal. <laughs> Stands of oregano. <laughs> well, old brown eyes is back. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Winston, I was so happy. Winston drove me over. Oh, I certainly couldn't let her come to this neighborhood by herself. Good Lord. <laughs> President Carter was right. Something has to be done about the poverty in this country. <laughs> you ought to stick your hand in your back pocket and massage your brain. <laughs> I'll see you later, sis. Pretend you're having a good time. And Winston, while you out here and watch, you better pretend that you're a brother. <laughs> Somebody bring your hat to the hospital. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> well, Eve, here we are, alone, all by ourselves, together with no one around. <laughs> we sure are. You know, you're just about pretty as a newborn heifer. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I heard that somewhere. I mean, you look real nice. Uh, not so bad yourself. Well, these are my stepping out with my baby clothes. <laughs> and if you're ready, let's get to stepping. Wait a minute. What's that smell? <laughs> oh, that's my new cologne. Evening in El Segundo. <laughs> It's coming from the kitchen. Hey, Miss Lewis. Hi, Cap. Well, take me back home. Sweet potatoes, black eyed peas, ham pops, and collard greens. Need some oregano. Hey, you're both welcome to eat with us tonight. We have two extra places set. Those two places for me. Could we, honey? Sure, whatever makes you happy. Cornbread, let me help you with that. <coughs> What's the matter, you got a ham hock caught in your throat? <laughs> What's the matter with you? What do you want? She's doing a homemaker bit. So what? So I saw the way she's acting. She got one eye on you and one eye on the altar. Oh no, even I just having fun. Trust me, Mr. Sanford. My daddy said that women are like freight cars. They spend their whole life waiting to get hooked up. <laughs> That's fine advice coming from a caboose. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Even I just having fun. Just ease it on down the road. <laughs> you just easing on down the aisle, and I'll tell you what song they're going to be playing. Dum, dum, ba dum, 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 ba dum. You got part of it right, it sure is dumb. <laughs> Fred, you're going to love this. 
I'm making some honey butter for the cornbread. Oh, that sounds delicious. I'm glad we stayed here. This place feels just like home to me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I had a great time tonight, Fred. Oh, uh, yes. You know, you're some kind of lady. You gave up a night on the town and dinner at a fancy restaurant with some soul food and a ride to truck. <laughs> but that's not the best part. What's that? You. You sure got good sense. <laughs> Excuse me for a minute, Fred. I'll be right back. All right. Why don't I make myself comfortable? Godzilla! <laughs> what are you doing? I've been waiting for you. I want to talk to you. Oh, I'm making a point never to talk to a lady who's dressed up like a TV antenna. <laughs> you can turn your head to the left and get NBC. <laughs> Look, Sanford, I'm very fond of Miss Lewis. Well, let me explain something to you. I'm fond of her also. But I'm going to make sure that nothing happened that'll upset her. Well, then you better get you a brown paper sack <laughs> and slide it over your head. Well, stop all that old crazy talking garbage mouth. I just want to ask you one question. What are your intentions with Mrs. Lewis? Well, Kong, I mean, uh, well, <laughs> see, Mrs. Lewis, Evelyn, she's nice. And she's beautiful. And she's rich. <laughs> So I'm going to do the only sensible thing. I'm going to ask her to adopt me. <laughs> Clara, what are you doing up so late? Oh, nothing. I just come down to get a glass of milk and some... Dog biscuits. <laughs> Fred, would you come over here for a minute? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Oh, I love surprises. Here, I got you a present. Oh, you didn't have to do that. But since you did, I'll take it. <laughs> a watch. You like it? Oh, I love it. It's the first time I ever had a watch with 17 jewels that the previous owner hadn't taken them out. <laughs> There's an inscription on the back of it, Fred. Shot proof. <laughs> oh, I see it here. <laughs> to my dear Fred, forever yours, Evelyn. Forever yours. Forever. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing wrong, honey. It's just that word forever means forever. What? Here, Evan, I, I can't take that watch. Why not? Because I ain't ready to get married. Married? That never entered my mind to get married. You didn't? No. We were just going out together, having a good time, getting to know each other. Yeah, nothing serious. I agree. Nothing was serious. Yeah, yeah marriage is out. Marriage was never in. No way. Yeah, I thought you said you liked me. I did. <laughs> then why don't you want to marry me? I will. <laughs> What about you? Say something. 